Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Battletech. Joining me is JK Lantern. We're, we're taking our energy boats to the desert. There's no way this can possibly go wrong. One of them isn't as much an energy boat. It's an archer. Yeah. It's still going to generate heat from missiles, but you know. Mm -hmm. So, as I was saying between between recordings... This is a desert mission, and uh, we may have a quite a bit of time where we need to just kind of sit there and let heat sink out. Hopefully, it will not come to that. Hopefully, we will be able to finish things off in timely manner as... <laughs> yeah, right. Never works nope. out the way you want. So anyway, time to go see if we can free another planet. It'd been nice if we'd gotten the, uh... It's nice if all we have to do is go blow things up and we're not timed on anything. That that would be nice. Ah, uh, the Lexington Combat Group. One of those mercenary units that I remember exists, but don't know any details about. We've got to capture a munitions dump. Eliminate defenses, prevent them from getting away with the munitions, support staff and land the rest. This sounds like I'm going to blow up a convoy. Which I have a jumping stalker and a jumping black knight. Come on, load. Command interface initiated. It's a lot of signatures. They're running low on ammo. It's where we come in. Structure before you is a munitions dump. Take it back. Find all hostile units. Units eliminate. Combat support staff will handle the rest. Several optional objectives. Saving some of the ammunition package will earn us bonus. Pay a bounty for any transports we manage to destroy. So all we've really got to do is take the base. And there are munitions crates. If they get in fire, the explosion will deal heavy damage to anything caught in the blast. You should see what machine gun ammo does in this game. M machine gun, or at least in the tabletop game, machine guns do, like, no damage to enemy mechs, but if the ammo blows up, you're gonna die. These ammunition crates are everywhere, and if you blow them up, they act like a freaking bomb. Yep. The goal is to not blow them up, because we need, we want the, uh, we want the ammo for our side. I see no other enemies floating around here. Enemy now I do. What do I see? Anything over there? There's a turret there. Turret, turret. A 35 and a 20 ton mech. Actually, since I can see the Malarcher, I can probably Moving stand out. there. Takes up here. You missed. You missed. You missed. You missed. 
and a spider. That'll that'll hit a few shots. Barely hit, Commander. Considering what I'm seeing here, I think that's those are just light laser turrets, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know exact they might be missile turrets. I'm guessing not. Hi, Locust. How are you today? Your day's about to get a whole lot worse. I don't want to target the munitions unless I'm about to die, which I don't think I will be. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I think we blew up one of its machine guns. I mean, I'd worry about spending all my turns on blowing up a light mech, but I don't have a lot else to shoot at. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Locking on. Did that not kill it? I figured that would have killed it. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. <laughs> Lieutenant Steak Fries here, reporting for duty. Multi-targeting is so handy. Multiple enemies locked in. And remember, with this version of the awesome, the hands are just basically shields. And the supply truck decided to run. Okay. <laughs> that spider's like, I'm going to attack. Oh no. The Jenner looked and didn't actually fire. There's a 60 ton mech. That vehicle got away. It's all the way up there. It's booking it. I don't have any way to really stop it either. Hmm. Yeah, 
I don't have any easy way. I don't have any way to get there at all. It's a bon. I mean, it is just a bonus. At least as far as I know, the way they the way they described it, it is just a bonus. Yeah. I didn't expect to have to go chunt to go uh charge after anything. So I do need to start I do need to start taking things out before they shear off all my damn armor. Yep. Fire starters, horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day. Losing lots of armor. Armor breach. Internal damage. What's up, Fox? Ready. Look, if they weren't all the way over there, I could do something about it. Like, in theory, like, if you move the archer to the right place, it might be able to do something. No, I can't even get a visual on it. Okay. I was looking all over the place like, nope, the archer is not seeing it. Since it's, see, by the time the archer moves, it's already long gone. Hmm. Well outside of the archer's range. Reporting minimal damage. Okay, so that's the 60 tonner they got. Yep. Couldn't quite hit the dragon from there. My armor is getting stripped off. Go 
good to go. The stalker is mildly annoyed now. Yeah, see, no matter how far I move, the, I just do not have the range. You see, okay. the blue line is the range of the archer. Just short of where I can actually reach that vehicle. And that's at maximum movement from here. Well, not quite maximum movement. If I actually, if I actually sprinted all this way, I could get close. If I sprinted this way, I could get in range and open myself up to everything with the archer. Yeah. Which I'm not really keen what to do. I, do I, I wouldn't be either. Wow, have fun getting back up in your armless, one-legged mech. Yeah. Unfortunately, they do figure out how to do that. Systems holding. Orders. If I do this, target <laughs> the dragon is now having a significantly worse day. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the the dragon is such a weird mech for being like a fast heavy, but also for its weapons being ranged. Like, usually when you have a fast mech, you tend to go with short-range weapons, so you can just run up and gank somebody. I mean, it works, but it's just an odd combo. Yeah, they finally punched through the armor on the arm. I'm annoyed now. Yep. Not much armor left in that location. You missed. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. See, machine guns, machine guns don't do much unless your structure's exposed. Then it can actually hurt. Yeah. Ready for orders. 
still hmm. wanted to shoot things. I just want it weak in the side, of kind of away from the action. Yeah. I'm waiting for someone to get close enough to stay cries for him to punch a thing. It's like, oh, the awesome doesn't have close range things. Oh god! Yeah. I wish it would have been then without completely exposing the awesome to every freaking angle shot in the world. Yeah. Good for it. That griffin is really starting to get on my nerves. That's why I had to rest. I had to rest the awesome, though. <laughs> I have to rest this, too. Yeah, in intro tech, flash bulbs are a little bit harder to make work because yeah, they're only single heat sinks. That's all we've got here, too. Yeah. That, that's what machine gun ammo does for you. Yeah. That That's why, like, the Crusader, um, which is a heavy mech, it, it's kind of an all-around missile mech. It has SRMs in its legs, LRMs in its arms, two medium lasers, and, like, a machine gun. The, the place where it has the machine gun ammo is the only... F I think the machine gun ammo is the only critical in that location. So the Crusader is renowned for having a torso bomb. Waiting for orders. I should pay more attention to where my armor is damaged with that awesome. Probably. I'll just use the Black Knight as cover. Basically. Yeah. Well, you can't shoot through it either, that's a problem. <laughs> we have life insurance policies, right? Sure. Right? <laughs> Engaging multiple targets. It would be nice if I hadn't missed half of that first volley. Warning. Oh no, you're hitting an arm that doesn't have a weapon in it. Good to go. That griffin is taking a lot of killing. Receiving you. On it. Hit them. 
something good. The Griffin's day is significantly worse now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the flaw of sticking all of your weapons in, like, one general area. That, that's why things like the Grasshopper are amazing. Or, like, your Black Knight. Why would you split up the PPC shots? Why wouldn't you cluster them? <laughs> because sometimes it's much better. Sometimes everybody has to die. Mm-hmm. I love this little precision strike, but it does eat up this resolve meter. Yeah. So you can only do it so many times in a row. Yeah, in, in the tabletop game, call shots are a thing, but they give you a significant targeting penalty. Okay, the griffin is dead, that's why. The explosions actually did get it. There's at least one of them left. Take it out, and this facility is ours. I've That's why you can't actually run up and punch it, because it's down the slope and I can't get there. Yeah. But that's also why I have three PPCs, in case yep. I can't punch something. Critical hit, Commander. Minimal damage on that hit. Yes, Commander. Roger. That little firing arc thing is so touchy sometimes. It'll cost us a bit in repairs, but hey. Yep. And admittedly, yes, that was the least optimal way to fight that fight. I admit that. So sometimes the Lyran Wall of Steel is not always the best solution, but... No, nope, but in that case it worked. And on that note, I'm going to call it a video. Alrighty. When we return, we see the aftermath of all this. But until then, take care, folks. Bye-bye.